we, we need to make sure that our Army is ready to go to, go to war. And, and we're going to make sure that our soldiers are ready. We have an obligation to do that. So they will continue the train. As this morning, uh, we've had 992 soldiers from all three components test positive for the COVID-19 virus. And as of this morning, we have 14 out of our 15 urban augmentation medical task forces employed. We'll manage the risk. Uh, we don't have a vaccination uh, right now, and we are training soldiers. And we are going to continue to uh, train soldiers in a safe environment with very, very strict measures that we talked about from social distancing to screening. Uh, to testing, and you know, you know, again, uh, we we need to make sure that our army is ready to go to, go to war, and and we're going to make sure that our soldiers are ready. We have an obligation to do that, so they will continue the train. We do have the testing capability. They've just received uh, two of the Gen X uh, 16 machines, along with the two of the BioFire machines. So they they do have the capability up to about I think it's about seven, little over 700 testing capability a day, and uh, that will give them the capability uh, that they need in the future to make sure that we can maintain the safety of, of the new recruits. They have four systems in place um, right now at Fort Jackson. Uh, two, two, two are called the BioFires. The BioFires do 24 a day each, so you got 24 a day each, and then they have two of these brand new Gen X uh, 16s, and they, they're called 16s because they do 16 an hour. So if you times 16 by 24 and and multiply that by two, you get you get a little over 700. And then 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 the capability is that that's part of it. So you have the machine that has the capability to actually process the tests, and and they can do that right there and and fairly quickly. Initially had nine medical centers who had large capacity testing capability. However, what we've done is we've expanded that testing to 35 of 37 of our installations that give a capability locally. Those testing capabilities within the Army, we have the ability to, again, cross-level, send it to the other locations, our medical centers, as required as the numbers goes up.